Hi, I'm Janelle Friesen. I'm the Public Information Officer with the UG Public Health Department. Um, it is March 18th, and this is our weekly COVID-19 update. Uh, if you've seen these before, you know that normally I'm joined by one or two other people from our team to give you some updates, but uh, we had some scheduling issues, so it's just me today uh, as far as our health department team. So I just want to give a couple quick updates on COVID-19 vaccines um, so that people know who can get vaccinated right now and what that's going to look like in um, some of the coming weeks. So right now, um, if you live in Wyandotte County and you are either um, 65 or older, or you are a critical worker um, under phases one and two of the Kansas plan. So that could be someone who works in a grocery store, food service, food processing, like a meat packing plant, um, retail workers, warehouse workers. Um, and there, there's a longer list of different industries and we have that on our website, wycovaccines.org. Uh, but if you are 65 or older or you're one of those critical workers and you live in Wyandotte, you can get vaccinated um, without an appointment um, at any of our vaccine sites. So you can walk in Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, for a free COVID vaccine. We've got those three locations. There's the West location that is out by the Legends. It's the former Best Buy facility off of Parallel Parkway. We have a central location that is at 78th and State at the former Kmart and our east location at 18th and Ridge, which is at the Kansas National Guard Armory. Uh, so when you show up, you just need to bring a couple things with you, something to show that you live in Wyandotte County. So it could be a piece of mail that is addressed to you. Um, and then if you're, uh, if you're 65 or older, you'll just need something to show your age. It could be an ID or birth certificate or, or anything that just verifies that you're 65 or older. Um, and then if you are eligible based on your job, then you need to uh, show employment somehow. So if you have a work badge, a pay stub, something like that. Uh, so we really, really encourage people who are eligible for those walk-ins and want to be vaccinated to come in as soon as they're able to. So we have that going today until three and then again tomorrow, nine to three. Um, we will still have those walk-ins available um, going into next week. However, we really encourage you to come in sooner rather than later if you can, uh, because you'll, you'll probably have a shorter wait because starting next week, we're gonna be opening up to more folks for vaccines because um, as I think a lot of people have heard, uh, Kansas is moving into phases three and four. Um, a lot of the people who are now gonna be eligible because of that are people who have underlying health conditions or other medical risks that might put them at higher risk for COVID-19. So um, and again, there will be more information online about that. Um, and those are health conditions that have been determined by the CDC and adopted by the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. Um, so if you fall into those groups, you can sign up. We're actually gonna be uh, prioritizing doing a lot of appointments for, for people who have those health conditions and live in Wyandotte County, uh, you can sign up at wycovaccines.org or by calling 311. And again, we'll still have walk-ins um, alongside that for those folks in the earlier phases who hadn't been able to make it in yet. Uh, so please come up uh, for if you're in those initial groups, 65 plus and critical workers, um, we, we really encourage you to come in when you can to get vaccinated. And then if you are um, someone with the underlying health condition and you haven't signed up yet, we encourage you to go ahead and do that. And we're gonna be getting those appointments starting next week. Uh, so thanks everyone for hanging in there as we're moving through these phases, but we really wanna work toward getting more of our community vaccinated because we know that's, that's what we need to really protect our county as a whole. Um, I think that's all we really need to cover for today. Uh, we will continue to post updates on here about um, any, any news about any changes around vaccine rollout, and uh, we want to help clarify the process to, to make it easier for folks to access that. All right, we'll see you next week.